Yes, they are most definitely getting bigger. Hi, it's Wayne from howtofish.com.au. Fishing today on the Yarra River. This is in the brackish water, so it's down towards the mouth where it enters into Port Phillip Bay. Uh, and so the water here will have virtually all the species that you get in the bay. And so the target I'm hoping today might be a few pinkies. I expect we'll get some mullet, but what I'm hoping for is pinkies and maybe a snapper if I'm really lucky. The first rod that I've got, this, this heavier rod here, has got a paternoster rig. So I've got two hooks coming off. Two hooks coming off there. A fairly large one. This is, this is a uh, size two hook. And then at the bottom, I've got my one of my closed-in burly cages with a weight in it so not only it only has 20 grams on here to hold bottom what I need to do is just basically I've put in a, a sinker inside of this so that will actually hold down against the movement in the tide and then the other thing is I'm going to fill that with my micro pellets I've got these micro pellets that I have been experimenting with uh, over now probably eight months and the results have been fantastic all you do is just cut off some container so you can create a spout and you can just tip them in into there whoops and then just screw the top on and what they do is they come out reasonably well so they shake out they'll stay in there when you cast in what it does is it leaves a few a trail of those coming down but when the fish starts to shake it, they start to pop out and that creates even more attraction for the fish in the surrounding water. What I'll be putting on here, I'm gonna put on a fish strip onto this, some mullet that I had caught previously, and then into the next smaller hook, I'll have a piece of chicken. And that's the setup for today on this rod. Well, um, as you can hear, <laughs> it's raining. Thankfully, I'm covered. Uh, the only time I'll get wet, of course, is when I get out there, but I'm pretty much okay with that. I'm getting bites on, on my rods. Whoops. I'll just let that progress. But um, I've already had one good bite on the rod. I missed the fish. Um, and certainly, I'm just getting burly into the area to attract them. So it takes a little while to actually bring them in. But uh, good signs are I'm already getting bites. First fish of the day, a little pinky. Flathead spitting food all over me. Okay, not bad. So I've put my bait on. I'll uh, put the pellets into my little cage, which also acts as my sinker. I've got a paternoster rig here. And that's where I've got some squid on the bottom. I've got a fish strip on the top. These are not big baits, but they can catch reasonable fish. And out we go again.
<laughs> well that was an epic battle for a small fish have a look at this little trevally my goodness and it's a very small fish <laughs> oh boy give it they're using the current against me of course so they feel bigger but um yeah at least they're biting now bites have slowed down um, it's the ebb tide, so I expect it to be slow probably for about half an hour. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to change from the closed-end burly cage that I was using to this 60 gram burly cage, open burly cage, and I'm not going to use the pellets this time. I'll use my bite hard burly. So what I'm going to do is get some powder into the water while the water is still, lay that around an area, get a lot of stimulation there, so that when the, the water starts to move, when the tide turns, there'll be a parcel of smell. So there's not much food in it, but there's certainly plenty of smell that'll attract them to my bait. So if you're not getting bites, you've got to make changes to find out what the fish want at the time. One of the first things I'm going to do is change the burly cage. Okay, well the, um, the bite hard burly certainly stimulated the fish to bite, but um, not the biggest ones I've ever seen. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh, another little pinky. They're beautiful little fish, just a bit small. Well, the size is starting to improve a bit. So just to show you what I'm doing, I'm filling my belly cage. The bait I'm using, I was using mullet strips, but also the chicken. The chicken is working just as well. So, but one of the things I'm doing with my belly cage, I'm putting my bite hard burly in. I'm squeezing it in about halfway. And then I'm using one of my bait dips. This is a, a liquid bait dip. Um, as in it's a quite, um, it's not very viscous, it's quite runny. And I'm putting about three or four drops of that into the middle of the burley, it soaks in, then I'm filling the cage to the, to the end, ready to go out. That stimulant in there, as the burley comes out, really seems to be bringing the fish in. It's the only change I made that uh, seems to be bringing the fish in after I'd had a quiet period. Yes, they are most definitely getting bigger.
Well, it's been really good. I've had three hours here at the moment, and unfortunately, I've just got a telephone call asking me to come home. Things I've got to take care of. But look, it's been great, and the fish are really biting now, which is <laughs> so disappointing that I have to go home. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. For the gear, for the techniques that I'm using today, for the tackle that I've got, go to my website, howtofish.com.au. See you next time.